Okay, so I've got a fresh install of Mac OS Sierra. And what I want to do is get it running with MacLogger DX and JS8 Call. So the first thing that ICOM tells us to do, and I think it's true with the Mac as well as the PC, is to install the USB driver. So I'm going to open up Safari. And uh, I know where it is on MacLogger DX's website, the link. And there it is. Go over here to links, and I'm looking for the Silicon Labs USB driver. Need to accept that. Scroll down, find Macintosh. My mouse is moving a little bit slow. There, oh, let's see. Oh, there's Mac OS driver. Click on it. Double click on this. Double click. Something blocked it. I'll let that through. Okay. Oh, click allow. There we go. Now we can go back to installing it. Just thought of something. I'm going to have to find the key for my MacLogger DX. I hope I got it somewhere. Got a backup of the program. Okay, this might take you a minute to install. So I'm going to go back to Safari, hit the back button, and I want to go MacLogger DX and download it. This is the latest version. Next place I want to go to is JS8 Call. There we go. Mac OS. Click allow. Minimize that. Okay, so that got installed. And I have the cable plugged into the radio. When I go up here, got uh, the USB audio codec. So that should be ready to go. Oh, wrong one. Click on that. Drag that over. And I'm going to put the extras in applications too. And this is the README. Double click on that. Download it. Yep, I need my registration key. There's a lot of good information on that. But I need to find my registration key. So,
Okay, so Maclogger DX is going to be in uh, my uh, applications. I like to have it down on my taskbar here. I like to have it down there and I don't have JS8 all installed yet so okay we'll install JS8 call put it in applications and to get this working we need to change something let's uh, open up the readme and I believe we drop this on the desktop then we open up a terminal window and let's see. I uh, need the application. That's in the utilities terminal. So Let's just run this. There we go, that's the first one. Okay, and then it says reboot the system. Okay, let's get JS8 call going and let's just set it up with the ICOM 7610 as the radio. So the first time you open it, you want to hold down the control key and then click and click open. That's just the first time you open it. And you want to fill out the, the basic information. That's the general tab, the radio tab. I've got the ICOM 7610. There it is. Oh, there's another program I wanted to download. Let me find this. I come 7610 Discovery. Or Discover. So I'll put a link to this in my article. This is really handy. And uh, W7AY wrote this program, so I'm going to download it. What I want. And this program, I'm going to copy it into the applications. So let me pull up uh, applications. And I want to put it down on the dock. Let's see, I don't have JSA call down here yet. Uh, so I want to put it over here. And what this does when I go in 
set up my radio and cat control it'll tell me what port or serial port my icon is on so I'm gonna click it now oh, this is another one a good example hold down the control key click it and then select open then it'll ask you click open again And there it is. So the CIB is on uh, this serial port here, and I've got it. It's correct. I want the highest baud rate, 115.2, and the rest can be set as the default, I think. Test cat. Let me go over to the rig options. I want to select the push to talk method as cat, data packet, and then fake it. Actually, with the 7610, rig works good. The 7300, I always use to fake it. And another thing, on the 7610, um, the AGC is set to fast. And on the 7300, I was turning the AGC off and then backing off of the RF gain so I didn't get blown away by strong signals. But later on, I decided just to go ahead and set it to fast. But the 7610, if you don't set it to fast, if you turn it off, you'll lose signals. And it's uh, it's well known that the ICOM 7610 needs to be set to fast. So yeah, I'm going to use the rig there. I can hit test cat. And let's see, my amplifier is out of the, out of the circuit now. Just push to talk, and that works good. So well, let's go through the rest of the tabs. That's the USB audio codec and built-in output reporting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select these because I'm going to set it up with uh, these other programs later on. Okay, I think I'm good there. Then the frequencies. there I don't need to put anything in there don't need to change that I can go ahead and click OK and I can click OK on that so right now I'm not on a frequency let's go to okay I've already got a station there let's see if we can decode him On my radio, I'm turning off the noise blinker, I'm turning off noise reduction, and I'm setting the AGC to fast. I don't know if there's... Oh, there's somebody there. Okay. Power output, I've got it set for 40 watts or about. I can back off this. I want to watch my ALC. I'm going to hit tune to check my LC. Yeah, that's pretty high. Set my LC so it's about a quarter of the ALC scale. There we go. So I hit tune, and the third time's a charm. It's coming out of the PC speakers, and I'll show you what I do to fix that. I'm going to go into applications again, and the MIDI setup. The output on the USB audio codec I want 
And I might as well set this for the same. Now that should fix that. So when I go back to tune, I want to check, uh, let's check the settings in here, the preferences. Yep, still got it. Okay. I have to close it. Output level is max. Okay, let's start JS8 call. Go back to the applications. There. Okay, we got somebody here. And I'm going to go ahead and test the tune again. It always happens on, I think it's the third transmission. The third or the fourth. If it's not set right, it'll come out the iMac speakers or whatever Macintosh you're using. Test it again. So there, we're good. So changing that in the MIDI uh, works out. Okay, so I've got it going and it's configured, it's working. Now I just need to make some contacts. I'm going to do another video on making contacts with JS8 Call. There are some other good videos out there, and it doesn't matter if you're running a Mac or a PC or a Windows PC, it's pretty much the same. It looks pretty much the same. So, in my next video, I'll show how I make contacts, and JS8 Call is pretty fun. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you find this informative and useful. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.